Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're going to do a review for the first 100 days of the game. But before we do that, please answer this question. Is the honeymoon phase over? Is it over for you? Um, I'm sure uh, different people will have a different, um, what do you call this, different answer to this because some started later. But again, is the honeymoon phase over for figure fantasy for you? Honeymoon phase is where in um, everything, everything's good. Uh, you feel that the game is 100% uh, positive or 90%. So put it down in the comment section below so that we may hear from you. Okay, so starting off with our pros. Basically, this game, the game concept is very unique. I haven't seen this yet with other games. The figure type um, system and the grid type in terms of placement. Um, more or less, it has been a breath of fresh air. Um, it started last year, November. And the game concept, excellent. Totally unique. And also, the figure design, who can, you know, who can, who can complain about this game? The figure designs are good. You have your 2D, you have your 3D, um, um, what do you call this? You have your 3D views of this, um, of the figures that we have. And you have a lot of options to, you know, to at least uh, enjoy probably viewing most of your figures, playing with your favorite figures. So, again, figure design. And hopefully, guys, in the future, actually, I've seen um, Yuki um, in, in, a, in a figure, figurine. Um, I've seen her. I've seen items um, in online stores with uh, Yuki. Uh, uh, in a box and as a figure. So hopefully we can get more figures um, or we can get the actual figures for the game and we could buy them. So who, who, who wouldn't want that? So again, put your comments down if you want the actual figures so that we could buy them in online stores and we could display them in our houses or our residences. Okay, next is going to be the story is a lot of fun. I enjoy the story. I enjoy the humor. I enjoy the pace of the story, and um, again, it's it's kind of interesting, especially when they introduce new figures to the game. Uh, I really enjoy reading every bit of it. Next is going to be right now. We've had uh, we've had uh, more or less a bit of um, uh, what do you call this? Um, additions to the um, to our figures and team built recently would be ayane rin you have their uh, zanta kane um it, the game is is a bit diverse already in terms of team building a lot of you could mix and match a lot before it was really limited when we started but now in the hundred days or more it has become more diverse, kinda, but we're still looking for other figures to fill in some roster spots and probably have, you know, more other dominant figures in the game. Like right now, it's only Zarola who is more or less dominant in DPS. I'd like to see another um, militarist who is also dominant in that area that can rival or even surpass Zarola. So again, I hope to see those in the future. Um... Also, as part of our pros, um, it's usually it's usually fun to you know to summon banners, new banners, new figures, and usually we have enough diamonds to save for future banners, and also in currency. So, I've also talked to other players, and they say that uh, the pace of the game, the release of the figures, is actually okay. Uh, because we could save before the next banner. So again, one of the things that I like with this game, you could save enough for you to have enough summons for the game before a banner comes out. Okay, definitely want to segue to the next pro. Free-to-play can be achieved for this game. I tell you guys, a lot of you know, a lot, a lot of players have been uh, have been telling me free-to-play is um, is a reality for this game. It just has to be again 
um, done in a way that you don't expect to progress further um, as soon as possible. So, again, if you are free to play and if you're stuck in level 140, 160, 180, then, you know, please make sure that um, you farm what you can farm in preparation to to pass a certain stage. But again, patience is the key to this. Currency is very good. Uh, Free-to-play are enjoying with the currency, with the diamonds, with summoning. It's not really a problem and they get to get copies of what they want. Some of them even have, have gotten Miku to 5-star even for free-to-play. So... Again, it's not really impossible for free-to-play players to exist and to enjoy this game. Next is uh, gonna go to the Otaku Zone. Otaku, again, is tied to how unique the game is. With figurines, definitely you have to display them. The Otaku is one of the things that I enjoy doing. And uh, right now, I'm already in my second zone. I could open my second zone already, but I haven't gone to it yet so again a lot of customization this is actually one of the things that i enjoy in the game uh, customizing displaying and more or less um, my otaku is very cluttered but again i need to raise this one the comfort level so i need to cram a bunch of things there but now that part two is open then i can really make sure that uh, to arrange everything in order for the game, I don't think we are running out of content. So I think um, we have a lot of content to play. So we have here um, Otaku. You have here your club. Next is uh, Content Sacred Tour, Big 3, Final Battle, Odyssey, Nightmare Brawl Club. You also have limited time events. So we, I, I don't think we, we lack in the games, but... For me, i um, going to go through the cons later of the content and uh, my comments as well. So, so far, content, we are not really... The, the game is not really skimping on content. So, we have a lot to play and keep us busy for this game. Okay. And last for the pros is... The store is also free-to-play friendly. Not only does it offer... Um, items that we need to purchase with real currency but also in-game currency that we can farm and we can exchange in the shop i like the store design again free to play friendly i uh, all you need to do is save and level up and again save for the currencies of each of the sections of the store that you want to purchase your items okay so that is it for the pros I'm going to go to the cons for this game. Um, a while back when the game started, um, there have been a lot of codes coming in. Okay. Um, there, there are a lot of codes when the game started, but as um, it, you know, December came and January came, there were no longer new codes that came in. Um, I hope you guys would, you know, would put out more codes because a lot of new players are still coming in. I, and I would lo lo love for them to enjoy what we enjoyed when the game was launched. So hopefully more codes to come in the future. Okay. Um, next is my uh, con on cons is we are basically six months behind some servers in terms of content and figures. So... Again, I'd like to trim that down to at least three, hopefully, because again, because people are seeing a lot of figures already that don't belong in the global server. So, and uh, they want them as well as well as I. So, hopefully, we could shorten that period to three months. Can we do that? Or probably four, or even five. So, again. It's, it's, it's a tease, really. Um, um, Japan, Chinese servers have lots of better figures. And we have to wait for them for a long time. So hopefully we could bridge that gap to, to a smaller gap, perhaps. Okay. And one of the things that I also would want to change is 
Um, not this one. This one. So skins are usually... Um, the good skins are usually on paywall. So that is my gripe because I want um, other players to, to enjoy this game as well. To be able to get these. If it's going to be on paywall, hopefully they could reduce the prices. Because some are actually only after um, the skins. They are, they're not after these. So if you guys have an option for the skin only, probably better. Um, because again, at a lower cost, if you know uh, low spenders want to spend to buy the skin, because again, some are just after the skin. These are just pluses. Although, although the packs are actually this pack is already good, but definitely, if you have a skin only purchase, it would be better. And if you could have some kind of a hard currency to farm, and you put these in the store then it would be better but again you could lower the price for only a skin purchase that would be good okay the next um con that i think that is really bugging me is night nine and snow a figures really really hard to get copies of these guys really really hard even the currency the fully wish is also hard to get so again uh hopefully we could get more fully wishes either that or kind of increase the the chance to get these so again i hope that uh, because these guys are powerful but they are hard to level up the only the only uh figure that i have from night nine or snow a that i leveled up is only is only this guy so the rest are on a very low level even ember is at three star it's really hard to get copies of them the rest as you can see one star one star and guys please we need more uh fully wishes to get these so hopefully um you could you know make that adjustment for the game um, one other thing under cons is, um, if you can recall, we usually have a weekly event for here for baseball. That game, it's okay, but hopefully we could sparse it out and put out other games in between them. I remember that, um, I remember last time the baseball event was in consecutive weeks, so kind of was kind of bored with that one. So hopefully we could sparse it out, not every week. I don't mind the baseball event. It's all it's good, but again, every week should be different. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully. Okay, and um, rotating events as well. I'm not really a big fan of rotating events. So to start off, and my question is why is the playground on not open you know once it closes for example it closed today should be open the next day because again i don't see the point that uh, this is closed until now this has been closed for a few days or a few weeks already i'm not sure when is this is when this is opening and also for the limited time event hopefully um especially this one i like this event but this is on limited time. Hopefully, they could make this event, the the, the game carnival, open um, consistently. And there is no really no no real schedule on when this will open. So again, hopefully, the limited time events could be limited, <laughs> and most of them could you know have a more um, consistent you know time wherein players can play. The best content usually. Uh, doesn't have a schedule so hopefully uh, it has a schedule on when it will open and this one i really like this one the list the wish list because it you know i usually get uh ultra shards here and uh, diamonds here this belongs to the pros i actually forgot to discuss it earlier and uh, the last one for the cons is definitely some figures here need a rework badly i tell you so ones that i'm i'm not sure why they're here is this girl ophelia definitely did a rework 
Uh, who else? Rico also needs a rework. So Rico here needs a rework. Uh, Vasily needs a rework. Who else? Vasily. There are a lot of figures here who need a rework. So hopefully the game, as we move forward, could do some reworks with uh, non-usable uh, figures so that we may be able to use them and enjoy them. Ophelia, again, I don't know why. Sometimes just ask why they're there. So hopefully a rework uh, in the future is possible. So hopefully, guys, you know, you've heard from me, my pros, my cons. Again, put in the comment section below what do you think are the pros and cons. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please put them down. I want to hear from you. And let's discuss. Okay. So looking forward to the next uh, 100 days for the event. 200 days. And hopefully we can enjoy this game for as long as we can. Um, keep the player base interested. Again, the key there is actually the codes. Especially if you want to attract new players. Codes are really important. So anyway, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully... You know, you got something out of this video and uh, I'll see you in your next one. Take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.